they pay the check, then that will be salary payable, a type of liability. Okay, so each and every transaction either affects a type of revenue or a type of expense, and at the same time, another type of asset and liability. Okay, so this is what an unadjusted trial balance looks like from Chapter 2. We will be adding to this unadjusted trial balance some of the adjustments, adding a few more columns to the right-hand side after you understand what is adjusting entries. Okay, so this information that we covered in Chapter 2 is still there. We're just adding some of the adjustments accounts later on, expanding the columns to the right side. Okay, at the end we'll have an adjusted trial balance. Now some of the rules for adjusting entries, the uh, upper title is rules for adjusting entries. It never involve cash account. Okay, this is an adjustment that ties to one of the transactions that happened earlier. Like the supplies example, if you purchase supplies in the beginning of the year, what we're trying to do is recognize the part of supplies that disappeared, that we used up. So the payment is already made before. Adjusting entries is just to try to figure out the part that we used up or the part of, for example, the prepaid rent, prepaid insurance that has expired. So all of these adjusting entries, the five categories, will never involve cash accounts. So the cash has either earlier been paid or the cash will come in later, afterwards. If it's an accounts receivable, that will be later, that will be cash received for later on. If it's accounts payable, that will be cash payment later on. So here we're just trying to adjust some of the accounts. Just remember that the tip here is that if you're trying to figure out which side to put cash, then that's not adjusting entry. So adjusting entries will never involve cash account. Now other tips when you go over to this week's homework, if you see the term accrued, that term means accumulated and usually that will fall under one of the adjusting entries. Okay, accrued means accumulated. Be accrued revenue, could be accrued expenses. So that salary example will be an accrued expenses. The employee worked for you for two weeks, you haven't paid a check, you accrued, you accumulated expenses um, that relates to salary payment. Okay, there are five categories of adjusting entries. We talked about a few examples under prepaid expenses, talked about salary payments under accrued expenses. So there are some of the other ones, depreciation, accrued revenues, and unearned revenues. Okay, five main categories. I'll be giving you some of the examples for each and every category. So generally speaking, these five categories, they're either a type of prepayment like prepaid expenses, it could be prepaying rent, prepaying insurance, or there are a type of accruals, accumulated revenue or accumulated expenses. Okay, so it's either prepayment, like number one. Number two is also considered prepayment if you purchase asset up front. Later on, we want to depreciate the asset, recognize the part of the asset that is no longer useful. That's what depreciation means. Recognize the part of the asset, the value that has already grown old, that is no longer useful. Okay, or it would be number three and four, it's the type of accrual. You accumulated expenses, accumulated revenues, that is still, again, not yet related to cash. So it's future cash receipt or future cash payment. Unearned revenues is a very special account. This term here is not a type of revenue, it's a type of liability. Okay, so unearned revenue refers to the um, cash collection that you, for example, this corporation collected cash up front for a type of service that they will be providing in the next six months. So under the circumstances, they collected cash from customer from clients up front. They owe the client and customer a certain type of service or the goods. So as long as they have not yet fulfilled the sales agreement or the service agreement, this will be a type of liability. The revenue that they have not yet earned. 